amid scenes at the southern border, and then in New York City, where an estimated 60,000 asylum seekers were housed in hotels or even temporary shelters, Governor Hochul on Tuesday issuing an executive order, just like during the COVID crisis, to mobilize more National Guard troops for assistance and quickly providing more food and other supplies as needed. She calls it a coordinated response under significantly changing circumstances and said she had spoken with the New York City mayor as well as county executives around the state. A spokesman for Erie County Executive Poland Cars said he did not speak directly with the governor, but did point out that the County Department of Social Services reports all local existing shelters and housing options are over capacity with simply nowhere to house asylum seekers. Managers of the Vive Shelter for Asylum Seekers in Buffalo did not return my call, but their website indicates they are filled to capacity. And last fall, when U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand suggested upstate communities like Niagara Falls could help and benefit from accepting some migrants. Mayor Steino told us then that they did not have sufficient education or housing facilities. The governor allocated $1 billion in the state budget to assist New York City and other efforts, but now the executive order raising concerns for a state lawmaker. This would free up dollars and uh, circumvent the legislature uh, so that uh, she would not have to come to get approval, which provides political cover to uh, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. Politico quoted Governor Hochul as saying Tuesday that while legal working documents could be an obstacle for migrants, farmers in New York State actually need 5,000 more workers. Farmers telling us they need skilled workers with certified federal H-2A visas. I heard the governor said that, uh, well, we farmers need workers. Farmers get workers legally from other countries. We have a program for that. It's a successful federal program. Some might say, unlike the federal immigration program, it's successful. The Cornell Agriculture Workforce Program also recognizes potential obstacles, but will hold an online farm worker information session for New York next Tuesday. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.